Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 201 of Java for Tester series that is interfaces. So what are interfaces? So in order to understand the interfaces, you need to understand few things about interface first. Okay. I cannot directly explain you about the interfaces sign. I cannot tell you that this is what is interface in the beginning itself. Instead, okay, instead to make you understand what exactly the interfaces are let me explain this interfaces related things in a step by step manner later once you understand all those things you will be able to understand what exactly the interfaces are so guys let's get started with the things okay i am going to explain in a step by step manner about this interfaces so to start with to start with the first thing that you need to understand about interfaces is interfaces look similar to classes okay interfaces look similar to classes so how come so let me practically show you okay how interfaces look similar to classes let me practically show you fine so here is a java project right click on this src and select new how to create a class guys okay in the java project how to create a class in all the previous videos i explained you how to create a class right so let's create a class right click on src select new and we have to select class so it lasts for the class name. You can give any class name. I'll give some class name like class one. Click on finish. So the class got created. The class got created. Public class class name. Okay. So how the class looks like? Public access modifier. Public is the access modifier that specified before the class. And this is the class keyword which is used for creating the class. Okay. This class using this class keyword, we are able to create a class with the name class one. Okay. So and this is the starting of the class. This is the ending of the class. This is how the class looks like. But if we, if I compare this class with the interface, it all almost looks similar. Okay. Only here class is there in interface. Instead of class, the interface will be there. Other than that, the class and interface look almost similar. So let me show you how the class looks similar to the interface. So right click, select new, and instead of selecting this class, you have to select the interface. Okay. So here, let me give some sample name, say interface one, you can give any name here and click on finish. Observe that the interface got created. Okay, you see, even the interface also looks similar to the class, public class class name, here public interface, interface name. Here starting of the class, here starting of the interface, here ending of the class, here ending of the interface. Almost all the class and interface looks almost similar guys. Only the difference between this uh, class and interface is that here in order to create a class, we have to use a keyword known as class, right? But in order to create an interface, we have to use a keyword known as interface. That's the only difference guys. But classes look or interfaces look similar to the classes, okay? There will not be that much difference other than the keyword used for creating the classes or interfaces, okay? Fine. So. Coming to the next thing that you need to know for understanding the interfaces better is interfaces are the extensions of the abstract classes. Okay. Interfaces are the extension of the abstract classes. So how can I say that the interfaces are the extension of the abstract classes? Okay. Fine. Let me show you. So on the left side, I'll uh, I will write down something like abstract class. On the right side, I will write something like interface. Okay. I am saying that I am saying that interfaces are the extensions of the okay or the extension. That is the next level. You can say extension means here interface is the next level of the abstract class. Whatever the abstract class does, okay, inter whatever the abstract class does partially, that the particular thing, the interface does it fully. Okay. Here partial implement partial thing. Will be done by abstract classes that thing is fully done by this interface so what is that thing that is partially implemented by abstract classes and uh, fully implemented by the interface okay so if you understand that thing you will be able to understand how the interfaces are the extension of the abstract classes okay so guys if you remember in, the, in one of the previous videos i explained about this abstract okay abstract is a non-access modifier in java okay in one of the previous videos, I explained about this abstract non-access modifier and, uh, and also I explained you what will happen when you specify this abstract non-access modifier before classes, right? So let me 
recap you at a high level. So guys, so it will look something like this: public abstract. Okay. If I create some class like this, okay, public abstract class, some class name say class one. Okay. Let's create a class like this: public abstract class class name. Okay. So this is wrong. Public abstract class class name starting of the class and ending of the class here abstract is a non access modifier specified before the class to make this particular class an abstract class fine so inside this abstract class inside this abstract class if we have to create some methods okay let's say public void some method a okay if i have to create this method can I provide the body, guys? Okay. Yes, you can provide the body. That's not a problem. Okay. So body can be provided inside the abstract class. The methods can have the body. Same time, abstract classes can have some abstract methods. Public abstract void method B. Let's say. Okay. Here, guys, this particular abstract method doesn't have any body. Okay, if you specify this abstract non access modifier with the methods, you cannot create a body for that, guys. Okay, not specify a body. If you try to do so, you'll get the compiler error. But here, this other method that is method A doesn't have this abstract keyword, so you can specify the body. You can write any statement inside this, the body of this particular method A also. Okay, so here, the conclusion here is whatever that I want to explain here is the abstract classes can have both abstract methods and non abstract methods. Okay, it's not uh, completely abstract. Abstract classes are not completely abstract. Okay, you can have few methods. You can you can actually create body for. Uh, okay, you can Im actually implement. You can say you can implement some methods and you can make other methods as abstract. Okay, that's how the abstract classes can be. But coming to the interfaces, guys, if you create some interface, public interface, some. So you don't have to specify abstract keyword here. Interface itself is an interface. Okay. So let's say interface one is the interface name and starting of the interface and ending of the interface. So here, what is the difference between these abstract classes and interfaces? In abstract classes, you can have both implemented methods and unimplemented abstract methods. But coming to the, but coming to the interfaces, all the methods should be of, all the methods should be of abstract type only. By default, they're abstract based. Okay. So method A. You cannot create body for these methods. Okay, you cannot provide the body for these methods. All the methods in, inside the interfaces are of without body itself. Okay, they are by default abstract. You don't even have to specify the abstract keyword here. I don't have to specify abstract keyword here. That's not required. Okay, by default, all the methods inside the interface are of abstract type by default. You can you cannot have or specify the body for the methods inside the interface. But coming to the abstract classes. You can have both type of methods, guys. One one method can be abstract, another method can have some body and its implementation. Okay, that's why I, have, I say interfaces are the extensions of the abstract classes. Okay, that means here partial implementation of the abstraction is there. Okay, here partial abstraction is there. Okay, few methods are abstract, other methods are not abstract. So partial abstraction is there here, but coming to the interfaces, hundred percent. Full abstraction is required. Okay, mandatory. If you try to create some body for this methods, you are going to get a compiler error. Okay, so let me show you practically, guys. Okay, I will first show you the abstract classes and how you can create uh, methods uh, without body and with body. And coming to the interfaces, I will show you how you can only create the met create the methods without any body. If you try to create a method with body, you will get some compiler errors in case of the interface. But in case of abstract classes, you can have both type of methods. But in interfaces. All the methods should be of abstract type by default. You cannot have the body for any of the methods inside the interface. That's why we say interfaces are the extensions of the abstract classes. They fully implement the abstraction with respect to the methods. Okay, let me show you practically. Fine. So already we have some examples here. Okay, so let's add something like abstract. I'm just making this class an abstract. So inside this abstract class, I can have both abstract methods and non abstract. Methods. Okay, let's create that public void, public void, some method A. You see, I'm not getting any compiler. I can create the method body. I can even write some statements inside this method A system.out.println. Okay, inside 
some method a okay like this okay inside the abstract classes you can have non abstract methods the methods which have the body you can have at same time you can have abstract methods also abstract void public abstract void method b so if you try to create a body you will not be able to because this is this particular method is specified with abstract so it should not have any body so uh, it should end something like this okay so this particular method is of abstract type and it doesn't have any body so abstract classes can have both non abstract methods and abstract methods without body okay fine coming to the interfaces you don't have to specify anything guys if you try to create any method like this public void some method a if i try to create method a and uh, try to provide a body you see immediately you are getting the compiler i didn't specify anything as abstract by default these methods are abstract guys okay internally these methods are abstract type you don't have to specifically specify the abstract here okay you cannot have the body guys abstract methods do not specify a body you see by default the methods inside the interface are abstract by default okay even though you don't specify they are abstract fine you see when i don't create any body for this methods you see it's accepted so all the met methods should be of uh, abstract type by default guys okay you cannot uh, specify the body if you try to do so you are going to get the compiler error public void the method c no matter how many methods you create all the methods should be of abstract type without the body it should be there by default they are abstract type so that's why we say the interfaces are the extensions of the abstract classes in java so 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 you understood two things here about uh, interfaces first thing about the interfaces that you understood here is interfaces look similar to the classes okay and second thing that you understood about the interfaces is interfaces are the extension of the abstract classes all the methods inside the interface are abstract by default whereas in the methods few methods can be abstract few methods can be non abstract okay that's second thing about the interfaces now let's move to the third one okay what is the third thing let's find it out so what is the purpose then okay why interfaces have full abstraction what is the purpose okay so let me explain so here i am saying the purpose of the interface is to provide a common behavior that can be used by several classes by implementing the interface okay suppose guys okay uh, you can either call it a common behavior okay so i am just going to explain the purpose right so let me explain first so write down few keywords here so that you will understand what i whatever i am talking okay purpose is common behavior okay in order to share the common behavior we have to use interfaces or you can even uh, treat it as a contract okay interfaces can be treated as a contract kind of thing which need to be followed okay which need to be followed or you can say norm norm kind of thing rule or norm okay your interface is a rule kind of thing okay common rule to be followed by everyone so or uh, what you call uh, rule or standard you can say okay interface is like a standard to be followed so let me take one example so that you you will be able to understand what I, whatever i am talking here okay interfaces nothing but a common behavior that can be implemented by different classes before understanding that particular statement you need to understand these keywords what is why i am saying interface is a common behavior why i am saying the interface is a contract why i am saying the interface is a norm or standard okay all are same guys okay here all these terms are same okay you will understand all these keywords right now for example guys there is some bank okay there are different banks in india right for example let's take different banks in india okay let's say the uh, one bank like hdfc bank and other bank let's take another bank that is axis bank i'm just talking about uh, different banks in india guys okay i'm just taking indian example for banks and uh, hdfc axis something like icici okay like this there are different banks let's say and there are other banks also in india okay so guys so there in india there is some authority known as rbi right there is something known as uh, rbi okay what actually rbi does uh, what what exactly the rbi does and how this rbi is related to these banks okay so let's find out okay if you understand this concept you will understand uh, why i am saying interface is a common behavior contract norm or standard okay so what rbi does uh, uh, for these banks is that uh, rbi creates some rules okay for the banks rbi creates rules and takes decision decisions okay creates a kind of rules or uh, norms or uh, whatever you say okay the bank should be like this or like that okay 
if you are a new person for example if you are entering into the banking sector okay you are a business person i and you want to establish a bank in india let's say okay so so in order to create a bank you cannot actually create with your own terms right so you have to follow some procedure or you have to follow some standards or norms or whatever it is okay so something should be in common between other banks and your bank such kind of thing you have to follow so for that let's say this rbi okay has defined some rules and uh, has taken some decisions about the banks and uh, it has told everyone that uh, whoever is entering into the banking business have to follow these rules obey these rules okay then only your bank will be approved and you will be able to run the banking business in india let's say okay so for that rbi has created this bank interface let's say this is an interface okay i'm just uh, connecting the real world thing into the programming thing guys okay so by using this you will be able to understand interfaces better okay let's say rbi in order to in order to make other banks follow these rules and regulations rbi has created an interface known as bank let's assume this example okay such thing is happening let's assume in the programming okay so let me practically demonstrate so let's delete these things let's create a bank interface okay right click new sorry i have to create an interface right click new i have to select this interface i am naming this interface as bank guys okay click on finish public interface interface name that is bank so now assume that this bank interface is being created by rbi assume that this bank interface is being created by rbi to set some rules or norms or standards or contract kind of thing which need to be followed by every bank in india let's say okay so for that uh, let's find out okay so string account type okay the rbi is defining some account types what type of accounts are allowed in india let's say savings account okay in any bank in any bank in india rbi wants you to create account type as savings type account another type of account is like uh, account type business account that is you can say current account okay current account type one i will say account type one account type two here okay like this we have two account types now the second thing is i am creating some methods okay Inter in inside the interface you cannot create a body for the methods all the methods are by default abstract okay only the design will be done by the bank interface implementation will not be done here so let's create public void okay public void uh, adding or we can say technically speaking you can say depositing money okay deposit or deposit money you can say deposit money there's something like uh, every bank should allow the users to deposit money okay every bank should give the users an option to deposit the amount or money and at the same time rbi wants every bank to implement this thing also like uh, every bank should allow the people to or users of the bank to withdraw money okay withdraw the money and uh, every every bank in india should should be able to transfer the money okay transfer money to other accounts or uh, every bank should allow okay every bank should in india should allow the people to open fixed deposits okay open fixed deposits like this lot of several uh, several things will be there in the bank if i keep on writing lot of things will come guys okay open recurring deposit okay public void opening open bank account okay so uh, public void close bank account then uh, if you keep some money inside the bank uh, the bank will pay you some interest right if this, despite of being you open some fixed deposit uh, bank should say, pay some interest amount for the even the saving amount itself okay if you don't even provide uh, open the fixed deposit uh, in india okay if you actually store some amount inside the bank the bank should uh, pay you the interest amount for the amount that you saved in the bank okay so what it, uh, what we uh, can say is calculate interest amount 
for savings whatever the savings you have in the bank for that interest amount will be calculated here okay so public void define interest rates okay so define interest rates uh, okay uh, for savings uh, for savings some interest rate should be there for fixed deposit some interest rate rates should be there all those things like this lot of functions okay now what you call whatever the operations that can be done by the bank okay the kind of rules that need to be followed by every bank the kind of norms or standards to be followed by every bank okay are kind of created inside this interface bank okay let's say by the people known as rbi okay by the department known as rbi department has created an interface like bank here with all such kind of rules there may be many guys but i am just for this example this is enough okay now guys the term the turn comes to the different banks okay so let's say there are different banks right click new class for the banks you just create the classes okay so let's say hdfc bank hdfc bank click on finish and other bank i would like to create is like axis bank say axis bank another class i will create is like uh, another icici bank like this there are different classes now now what we have to do is all these banks that is hdfc bank access bank icic bank should follow this rules or norms or standards okay how to do that for that guys all these banks should implement this interface okay should implement this hdfc bank should implement this bank interface this access bank should implement this bank interface icic bank should implement this bank interface okay so let's say public class for that we have a keyword known as implements keyword guys okay in order to implement an interface we have to we have to use a keyword known as implements hdfc bank implements this bank interface i have to say bank okay so implements is a keyword h public class class name implements interface name okay so what will happen when when i do so when i do so you will get this compiler error saying that this particular hdfc bank class must implement all the abstract methods of this bank interface you see all these rules should be followed by this hdfc bank okay so hover the mouse and select add unimplemented methods create something like this guys okay public void deposit money public void withdraw money public void uh, transfer money you see all the things that you specified here deposit withdraw transfer everything has come up here you have to implement them okay this particular class implementing this interface should implement all these methods abstract methods of the interface okay all the abstract methods of the interface called bank should be implemented by this hdfc bank so here coming to this example rbi department has created this interface known as bank and this bank interface should be implemented by all these uh, banks in india hdfc bank should implement this bank interface access bank should implement this bank interface ics bank should implement this bank interface whenever if i know if all these banks implement this uh, interface then only rbi will approve the running of this particular banks in india okay such kind of situation for that you have created this different class and uh, all these classes are now have to implement the bank okay implements bank access bank uh, implements What's happening okay public class class name okay okay let's say there is some spelling mistake here let's me type it properly implements okay now it's good so public class name implements bank so this particular bank also should implement all the abstract methods of this interface okay here design is there contract is there here standards are there rules are there norms are there whatever whatever you call okay so you can call anything standards rules contract norms okay common behavior to be implemented by all the classes you can say anything over the mouse add an implemented methods okay here icic bank also same thing implements implements bank okay so hover the mouse add unimplemented methods all the unimplemented or abstract methods of the bank bank interface will be have to be implemented here here hdfc bank has to 
implement this method in its own way okay deposit money okay so developers will be writing the hdfc bank developers will be writing the code for like oh, how the applications or process should be there for depositing the amount in the hdfc bank so hdfc own implementation for this deposit money will be there we are coming to the access bank access bank has its own way of uh, depositing the money so such kind of code will be written inside the deposit money okay of the access bank icic bank also will have its own way of depositing the money okay so such kind of logic should be written logic of the icic bank way of depositing the money should be written inside this deposit money method so every class will have to implement in its own way okay in its own way so but this hdfc bank access bank and icic bank should follow the rules norms or standards or common behavior of this bank okay which is said by this rbi department of india okay so guys this is actually the interface the purpose of the interface is to set the norms or standards or contract for the classes to be created okay all the classes implementing this particular interface should follow the standards norms or contract here guys here only the design is being done okay inside the interface we are not implementing anything you see if you go to this bank interface are we implementing anything no we are just inside the bank interface we are not implementing anything okay this is just a design abstract uh, abstract kind of design it is okay implementation will be done by the classes which are implementing this interface okay the classes which are implementing this interface have to implement the abstract methods of this interface only the design will be done here implementation will be done by the classes implementing the interface okay so guys at a high level this is what exactly the interface is okay so the interface is like a contract norm or standard that can be implemented by the implementing classes okay implemented by the implementing classes that's what exactly the interface is in java okay so guys uh, there are more things to be explained about this interface guys okay i just explained only three points in this uh, session i explained only three points about the interface not to make you understand the interface i explained three points that is interfaces look similar to classes interfaces are the extension of the abstract classes okay so and third thing is like uh, the purpose of the interface is to set the standard norms contract or common behavior across multiple classes which are which are implementing that interface okay and uh, there are more things to be explained about the interface guys uh, i cannot take the entire session here so what i am doing is in the upcoming videos the next videos in the coming videos i am going to explain each and every feature of interface okay in a step by step manner you are going to learn interfaces in detail in the in this interfaces series of videos followed by this video okay so guys uh, let's learn more about the interface in the next video session also so that's it guys in the next video session i'll explain the interface assign the naming convention okay how to name the interfaces in java that thing i am going to explain in the next video session so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye